So first thing you want to do is you want to get a foam roller like this. It's short, really great that it's short, and it has these little ridges through it, and it's the soft padded material. There are some that have these big knobs through them, and I would not recommend that to start. I don't know if I'd ever recommend that, to be honest, because it's quite intense. So the smooth one, I don't recommend either because it's, um, I feel like it doesn't do too much. Like this really gets in a lot of places. So I'm just gonna show you uh, a few different techniques that you can use for, you know, going out your back and the IT band. You can even do your glutes and your hamstrings. You can do pretty much a lot of areas, but just keep in mind, depending on what's going on in your body, it can feel really intense, so go slow. And the other thing to think about is that um, you do use, use some core work. <laughs> Actually, a lot. So if you're not used to it, you'll be surprised how much core work. So first thing, I'm going to do the back. So you're going to come down. You're going to place the foam roller down. And then you're going to lay down and you're going to just put your hands behind your head and I'm using my core already and just slowly roll all the way up to my shoulders, not to my neck, and then roll back. So you keep that lift using your core. Roll all the way up and then back down. And some people stop even before the lower back. It depends on you. I happen to like going that far. And then from here, you can play with the arms. You can just like, first of all, you can stay here and roll back and forth. See if there's anything that you feel there. And then you can draw the arms overhead. Look up with the neck, getting another part of the shoulders in between the scapula. And then you can draw one arm away. So, you're, so I'm now getting the right side a little bit more. And then switch. And then switch again. And then bring your feet in closer, use a little bit more core, and I draw my elbows toward each other. And then just roll through the spine. This is a lot more core work. So think about it like cat pose. So you're doing a little bit more exhale. And roll through the spine again. So you're using your legs and your feet. All right, now I'm gonna lower down so I can show you. So now I'm gonna do more of my glutes. So I have it right at the base, close to my the top of my sacrum. I'm gonna lift up and get right on my glutes. So I'm gonna start really slow because sometimes you know, the glutes hold a lot. So I'm just gonna roll to the top of the sacrum and then roll back top of the sacrum, and then roll back. Still using my core, I'm using my hands and my feet. And now I'm gonna lean over to one glute, using my arms and my legs, my core, and I'm just going back and forth now on the side. So there's three parts of the glutes. There's the gluteus medius, minimus, and maximus. So on the outer hip are the two, are the smaller ones, the gluteus medius and minimus. The, the main one that people mostly know about is the gluteus maximus. So I'm trying to get, I am mostly getting all three. And you can, I'm actually feeling it considerably. And then I'm gonna switch, turn the thigh, and get the other one. And I'm bending my knee for support, so using my core, using my arms, checking how I feel from side to side. Noticing that, and then switching a little bit back to center. Make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing, and then you can bring the the foam roller to the to, toward the bottom of your glutes. And now I'm going to shift over one side, and I'm going to straighten out my leg. I'm going to get the hamstrings, and it's going to walk back, and then walk forward, walk back and forward. Now, here's where it gets a little interesting and it can be really intense. I'm gonna internally rotate my leg, move the other knee out of the way, and there's more core work to hold yourself up. So you're constantly holding yourself up. So rolling, getting the abductors, the inner thigh, and you can kind of hang out one area, go back and forth. Just be careful, 
always be careful on the joint. So I don't get too close to the knee joint. And then come back to center. And now I'm going to turn my leg, move over to the side a little bit and turn my leg out. IT band, really painful usually. I've gotten a little bit used to it. Some days are better than others. And keep rolling out. And notice that I also start to lift up a little bit where this is more core work. And the more weight you drop down working with gravity, the more you're going to feel it. So I'm not turning my leg all the way out because that's really intense. So I'm feeling it enough doing that. All right, and then switch sides, come all the way over. Again, start in the center, the middle of the hamstring, and back and forth. And then turn to the inside, go as far up and down as you can. Remember the joint, the knee joint. You want to be very careful. It just won't even feel good. <sighs> Using your core for stability as well. Now turn the leg out. Keep lifting your chest. Woo! The side feels a lot different. And get the IT band. So notice I'm staying center. I haven't turned my torso yet. So, and you can even go into the glutes a little bit and then roll back. And then you can turn the torso and then roll back. Going all the way up to the glutes. And I like to do that sometimes because you just kind of want to finish that line. And it's just a line of where you are, not any specific line, really. I mean, that can get into a long, much longer conversation. And then come off. And then if you want, you can also do the calves. So again, I'm below. I want to be below the knee joint. And this is less feeling because you have less weight to drop in this area. So you're going to lift your torso up. And actually, let's come further this way. So up, go all the way toward the ankle, and then back, and then you can turn the foot in, going back and forth, and I'm using all my core to hold myself up, and my arms, you get an arm workout too. Turn the leg out, and roll back and forth. It's not so intense on the, on the outside, more intense on the inside. And then come back to center and you can just hang out on one area and just kind of go back and forth again and then I'm going to lower down and I'm going to switch so I am even. You always want to make sure you do that for yourself, that kindness, even it out. And this like actually feels a little bit more intense and I, I am right sided so that could be a reason. And turn the leg in, go all the way up. Keep lifting my chest so I keep the weight dropping straight down. So I'm using my arms and my core to facilitate the move. And then come back and then turn the leg out. Good. Yeah, and the outside is just a little bit different. Not too bad on this leg. And then come back to center and then slowly come off. So that's it for now. So remember, I hope you guys can still see me. This one I highly recommend. It's, it 